Hey guys, this is Ashish Best and welcome to my channel Life is Beautiful. In the series of good habits, the first habit that I spoke on was gratitude. Now the second habit that I strongly feel we all should have under any circumstances and I say under any circumstances because this is one habit if you do not have the consequences are such that nobody will be able to help us even if they want to. Now we'll have to undergo sufferings all by ourselves. The habit that I'm talking about is taking care of our health. So how do we take care of our health? First, we should not only eat on time, but we should eat right. We should have schedule for our breakfast, lunch, evening snacks and dinner. Some have meal thrice a day, some twice. But there has to be a schedule and we must adhere to it. Half an hour here and there can be understood. Once in a while missing the time can also be understood because you may be traveling, you may have office assignments, meetings or whatever be the reason. But regularly being irregular is a matter of concern and is not good for your health. Many people tell me that they are not able to have their lunch on time in office because their boss gives them some work or the other just before lunch. My advice to you all is, can you ask your boss that the work that you have given, whether it is urgent or whether it can be done after having lunch? Believe me, if not nine, at least eight out of ten times, the boss will say it is not urgent and can be done after lunch. So make sure that you have your meals on time as far as possible. Do we eat right? Now, I do not mean to say that you should consult a dietitian. If you can, great. Can you avoid junk food? Can you avoid fried items? Can you reduce salt and sugar intake? Can you stay away from any form of tobacco and alcohol? Can you avoid aerated drinks? Now, these are all things which are totally in our control and can be done with little bit of willpower, isn't it? It is said one should have a breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper. So ensure that you have light dinner at least two hours before you go to sleep so that when you are ready to sleep, the food is digested. Do we drink enough water? Water is so important for our body. It not only carries nutrients to our cell but also flushes out toxins and waste. It helps us in keeping the body hydrated and regulates body temperature and blood pressure. Now, the minimum water requirement differs from person to person. So, when you visit your doctor next, ask him the minimum quantity of water that you should be drinking and ensure that you consume that much of water daily and be healthy. Second, exercise regularly. Now, I don't mean that you should go to gym daily. If you can go, nothing like it. Now, can you walk from your residence to the railway station or from the railway station to the office if the walking time is around 10 to 15 minutes? In your office building or residence building, can you walk up the stairs instead of taking lift? If you have to discuss something with your colleague, then instead of discussing over intercom, can you walk up to your colleague, discuss it and come back? Now, most of us work in office where majority of the time we are seated. So when we finish a particular task and before starting a new one, can we stretch on our seat for say a couple of minutes? All this will ensure that your body has some physical activity and that will keep you active and healthy, isn't it? Small, small things. Third, have enough sleep. To function at its best, our body requires adequate sleep just like it requires oxygen and food. In fact, adequate sleep is equally important like healthy eating and exercising. An adult on an average requires 6 to 8 hours of sleep and during this sleep, the body heals itself. That is, it repairs the cell. That's why when we wake up after having adequate sleep, we feel fresh and rejuvenated, isn't it? It helps in improving our immune system, which is so important in this current situation where we are fighting coronavirus. Now, lack of sleep means higher chance of diabetes, heart attack, stroke and blood pressure. 
Some of the signs of inadequate sleeps are yawning, irritability, daytime fatigue. And if you experience it, then make sure that you have adequate sleep that is so essential for healthy life. Last but not the least, ensure that you go for regular health checkup. If you are 35 years and above, I strongly recommend that you should get your health checkup done once in a year. Many people give excuse that they do not know when their health checkup is due because they do not remember when they did it last. Now I'll tell you the secret how I remember my health checkup day. I generally go for health checkup a week or two before or after my birthday. So whenever my birthday is nearing, I know that my health checkup is due. Simple, isn't it? Many people say I don't have any health issues. Some say I do not have time. Now, most of us have vehicles, either a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler. And we service them regularly at some interval, say three months, six months or yearly, depending upon the vehicle we have. Even vehicles don't have problem, but we find time and service it so that it should not break down. Now listen to this carefully. Even if the vehicle breaks down, we can get another vehicle. But if our body breaks down, it is gone forever. How sad it is that our choice is to service the vehicle and we find time for it. But we do not service our body. That is, we do not go for health checkup and say that we do not have time. All those above 35, I strongly recommend that they should get the health checkup done every year. I hope you agree with me. Now, all of us love our family, especially our children. And for their well-being, we sacrifice so much, including our health. We give all our attention to their upbringing, studies, careers, etc. and forget to pay attention to our own health. Now, just imagine a scenario 30 years from now. Your children will be well placed in life, having a good job. They would be married and settled down. You would have been a grandparent by then. Life seems perfect. But as age catches up, you start falling sick. Since you never took care of your health, your immunity levels are not high. So you keep falling sick on and off. And God forbid, if your health deteriorates and you have to be hospitalized, then someone from the family has to be constantly with you, isn't it? Your children now are in a, at a responsible position in some organization. They may not get leave frequently. If they insist, they'll get into an argument with their bosses which can hamper their career. But since they love you, they'll still take leave and be by your side. But can you imagine? You are inside an operation theater or ICU unconscious. You will not even realize the stress and the trauma that your loved ones go through while they are waiting for you outside. I have one question. What kind of a love is this where towards the latter half of your life, you put your loved ones through such pain, anxiety, stress and trauma? Give it a thought. You have to answer it only to yourself. You must have come across many people who are diabetic. And you will see that they religiously go for their morning walk and have restricted diet. They do all this after they have been detected for diabetes. But why can't we do the same thing while we are healthy so that we can prevent ourselves from being diabetic? Why do we want life to make us disciplined by giving us a tight slap? Why can't we be self-disciplined while we are still healthy? I just don't understand. Being healthy is not a matter of doing things right for a few days. It's a matter of habit which you should be doing regularly, isn't it? Now many ask me, does taking care of our health ensure that we will not fall sick? I say there is no assurance that you will not fall sick. But then certainly the chances reduces. However, if you do not take care of your health, I can assure you, you will fall sick sooner than later. That's why I strongly recommend that if you have not been taking care of your health, then start today immediately. Because as it is said, better late than never. If you take care of your health right from the beginning, you will be healthy even when you grow old. And only if you are healthy, you will be happy. Only if you will be happy, you can make people around you happy. That is, you can make your family and loved ones happy. That's why it is said, health is wealth, isn't it? Think about it. I'll leave you all with this thought. Thank you.
If you like this video, click the like button and share it with your family and friends. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it now. Till we meet again in the next video, keep smiling, be happy, ensure social distancing, be safe and as I always say, life is beautiful.